another organization you may have heard of called the Wycliffe Bible Translators. That's who SIL really is. They have the same board. It's not two organizations. It's one organization with the same board. In the churches, they tell the people we're Wycliffe. We send missionaries everywhere and work on language so people get the Bible in their own language. In the university system, they say we're SIL, we're linguists doing research on people. You're helping them. Okay, so how this works in the SIL thing on language is that SIL figured out that if they can get a hold of the Aka language, they can decide what Aka culture and identity is. So they say they're protecting, identifying, teaching Aka language. You know what nutrient is? Can of boiled corn in the grocery store, how much nutrient value it has compared to corn on the cob? Decreased. Okay, what does, what's the problem with genetically modified crops, the green scare in Eugene? All this problem, what's the real issue? Decreased genetic variety. Because in the end, when we need the bigger genetic variety, we're not going to have it, which is mean somebody's going to go extinct. It's going to look like it has two legs and two arms, and it's not a monkey. Okay? So what happens is that you reduce the genetic code of the corn, so you have only 20 varieties available instead of 680 or 6,000, whatever number of varieties you have of genetic variation of corn. The companies, the bio companies, argue that it's still corn. That's perfectly right. So what you do is you come out here and you take the children away, you move them into church residential schools, you teach them how to read the Bible, and you won't let them wear the traditional dress or talk about anything Aka. And then you go down to UNESCO, tell everybody that you preserve an Aka language and they don't know any better and so they fund it. So a really famous spirit woman, Nipa, called Nipa Miche. Nipa Miche was a spirit woman who worked with couples and her expertise was that if you and your husband, you and your wife could have a baby, you would go to this spirit woman and she would do a ceremony just for you which she would ask you, you want a boy or a girl? It's called pulling down a child. She would pull down a child from God. Up and down. i got to mention that up and down are not the up and down we know in English. She would pull a child from God for you based on which gender you wanted in the ceremony. She was very well known for being successful at it. And her daughter had three children. And I was in a village and her daughter's name was Mimi. And someone in the village said, there's a woman in the village who's going to have a baby. And so I said, well, what do you want to do about it? And they said, well, she wants to go to the doctor, but there's a hospital right down the road. Her husband's gone working to someone's fields, like in another village quite a ways, and he can't get here. So I loaded this immensely pregnant woman in the back of my motorcycle. You know? She was pregnant out this way, I rode backwards, it would have made it easier, but she was pregnant out in front, so it was like I was riding on top of the gas tank to keep the bike from going up. And her going off the tail end of the dirt roads. And I took her down to the Mei Chan Hospital about right here north of Chiang Rai. <coughs> and she got in and she had her baby about three minutes later. And they got her to her bed with the baby. It was a baby boy. And I said, no, I'm going to go get your husband on the motorbike. Don't leave this bed. And don't leave this room. And don't let anybody. I said, do you want to be sterilized? She goes, no, I want one more child. I said, okay, then don't anybody touch me. And I came back in an hour with her husband, and she was already sterilized. Oh. And she had a cut across the middle of her belly with tape on it, and she said they didn't even give me a shot. 